Many of you probably can't see this now, but back then, I was a skinny Asian kid. And growing up in the suburbs of Mesa, Arizona, there weren't really any kids that looked like me, especially when playing sports. I didn't really notice this until going into high school football. There are some specific instances I still remember today. On the surface, I laughed it off, but deep down, I think it really hurt me. I mean, I felt the same as everybody else, and I've grown up here my whole life similarly to everybody else. But just because I was Asian, I was now eligible for being the butt of some easy jokes. Now, it wasn't bullying, but I definitely grew some insecurities out of this, some of which still stick with me today. I was just tired of being a placeholder, and I think that's one of the reasons that drove me to weightlifting. It became a way to validate my masculinity. It became everything that I wanted and who I was. And I wasn't gonna settle for anything less. I've been waiting all this my whole life. It's Tuesday morning. It's a rest day. I've been uh, only training three to four days a week. It's a lot more rest days. It's part of the whole thing. I'm a little burnt. I don't think the extra rest is gonna hurt me either with everything going on. Even though it's a rest day, I figure I need to do something still. Which, I mean, I enjoy working out, so I just gotta do and find workouts I enjoy. You know, for stuff that's like I enjoy for me and my own health, not necessarily for, oh, this is gonna. Help me put more weight over my head. I'm fucking, I'm tired. I'll just talk to you when I'm done. To find your dreams there it is, baby. 15 minutes down at a nice, nice pace. Relaxing, not too fast, not too slow. Nice and easy. You might be thinking, yo, what the fuck? Only 15 minutes? Yeah, motherfucker. I used to barely not even be able to run five minutes without my back calves cramped. That's fucking awful, GPP. So I said, no way, I'm gonna need to get more shape. So yeah, on rest days, I like to do something like this. Probably pair it with some yoga later in the day because it's been helping a lot with my flexibility and shit. But uh, no, this right here, it's good just to get. I, I honestly believe, I used to just think sitting on the couch, not moving a muscle and just best way but I actually figured I feel a lot better not only mentally but physically um would I my heart rate goes up a little bit not a fucking crazy amount I'm not doing you know I'm not doing Fran or I don't know some other workouts but you know what I mean um yeah my legs are going to be sore from those front squats those fell fucking but anyway yeah and another reason too is because you guys know those two voices in your head right the one that's like no rest play call of duty and the other one's like no motherfucker you're a pussy it's good not to always let one of those win I, there's there's a time and a place for both and i think the morning are definitely time and the place for no motherfucker so i've been i've been trying to do things that make me like i've been trying to do some shit i do not want to do right especially when it's fucking early and it's getting winter the last thing i want to do come out here in the fucking cold it's not that super cold compared to someone get my congestion flaring up again and all that but but here's the cheat code now that there's are there was already uh I'm telling you guys the cheat code is, is withhold from coffee hold from caffeine until you get until after your heart rate hear me out hear me out drink your water drink i drank full hydro before i went so now i have a natural dopamine high from the workout okay now when i go shower you know i stretch out a little i'm fucking boom it's only 6 30 this is fucking sick you know i already have that dopamine high going but that's all natural that's just natural dopamine now i could ride that and say fuck i'm not gonna have any coffee i'm gonna go raw dog today but no i'm gonna have coffee so look at that double dopamine I'm telling you withhold i used to do that too when i was doing doubles for a while i'd fucking withhold from my caffeine until i got done with that session around after lunch after my lunch i have lunch my lunch nap wake up have my caffeine i was boom i was ready to go for the afternoon for the afternoon training session but yeah but the <laughs> the point of wake up until you're warmed up fucking sucks absolutely suck once you just push past that a lot better things like i feel like i feel like that could be applied to a lot of things in life oh no shit nathan yeah okay i almost back to the apartment and uh, then the day started. Congestions. 
<laughs> Almost. Nah, it's not. It's a little better. Some reason I have a fucking headache. God damn it. I never get sick like this. I don't know what's going on. I was just tired of being a placeholder. And I think that's one of the reasons that drove me to weightlifting. For one, if I could be insanely jacked and strong with the clout of being a high level athlete, I felt like I could just be taken more seriously and respected. And two, a lot of the elites in the sport look similar to me compared to athletes of popular sports in the US. Asians in weightlifting weren't really looked down on or seemed out of the ordinary. In this sport, the Asians were looked at as gods. And that really drew me to it. All right guys, special day, special package. Today's Thursday. Got something special delivered for tomorrow. We got a lot of tomorrow's Veterans Day. So a lot of lifters will be training together because they all got off work. Special package. Yes. McDonald's. Sorry, I don't have my camera. Oh, that look at look at that. Hi! How you doing? Ready? Look. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Sarms. Smelling salts. Ugh. Ah, you thought. Okay. Babe, I'm shooting a video. I'm sorry. This is for tomorrow. I'm excited. Tomorrow's Big Friday. I go I go heavy tomorrow. I go to okay, like 140 goodness. and like 175. But I figured I don't care. Well, I care, but I'm No, trying. no, you, it's just like, right? Yeah, I'm like, just, yeah. honestly, I'm just going to go and have, yeah. like, if I hit 130, okay. If I hit 160, okay. Because I'll do better that way anyway. Yes. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Wait a second. Why is there a scoop in this? All right, hold tight, everyone. No, it's like a. It only needs to be activated once. Oh, you have to suck this, huh? Uh uh. Oh my god, you are. It's in. Hey. Oh, fuck it. Fuck my ass. Kyle Josh, this is what Zach has to say. Veronica's going right now. Go. Okay. Give me say it. Say what? You want the what you pants. Want? Pants? Yeah. Barbell? Yeah. Send me some pants, please. No, like the addition. Addition? Addition of what? Addition. Just stop fucking putting. Kyle and Josh. What do I? What do I call the pants? What are they? The sweatpants. The limited edition. I, if you release a limited edition pair of sweatpants, the, Nate, Nate will send you the link. Wait, the, no, they don't have a link. You, fuck. Okay. Let, me, let me let me restart. Let me restart. Okay. Kyle and Joshua Bundra. If you release a limited edition sweatpants, Nate will tell you which ones. I will buy them and wear them. I heard smell this. No. <laughs> oh, you woke up now. <laughs> He's gonna nail this rep. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> I'm true. That's why it's been so hard for me to take a step back from this world. I mean, my whole identity and self-worth has been wrapped up in it for seven years now. Without it, who am I? Will I still be respected as much? Will I be seen as that skinny Asian kid who was good, but not quite good enough again? And I think these are some fears that have kept me living in denial for some time now. I don't know if I'm maturing or, or my values are changing, but I'm just starting to realize random people's opinions don't matter when your closest friends and loved ones value, love, and respect you. Plus the fact I just don't want to be driven by insecurity anymore. No doubt, it's a passionate and powerful fuel, but it eventually runs out. It's just not as sustainable as internal drive. And that's what I'm trying to find right now.
I'll see you guys next episode.